Hey, are you running your online store on Wix? Do you want to take advantage of one of the best e-commerce email platforms out there, Klaviyo? If so, you are in the right place. By the end of this video, you'll know how to properly integrate your Wix online store with Klaviyo. With this native integration that just came out, you'll be able to reach customers with targeted messaging through segmentation, automated flows, and campaigns. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Casey and I run Luck & Co Agency, where we help seven and eight figure e-commerce brands maximize their email and SMS revenue. We often 2X, 3X and 5X our clients' email and SMS revenue, so we've got lots of tricks up our sleeves. If you wanna support me and my team in creating more free tutorials like this one, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's get your Wix site connected to your Klaviyo account. Two important things before we begin. In order to use Klaviyo's integration with Wix, your Wix site must have a premium plan and a connected domain. If your online store is live and active, you already have both of those items checked, so let's get to work. How to integrate with Wix. In your Klaviyo account, click on your company or organization name in the bottom left-hand corner, and then click Integrations. Select All Integrations and search for Wix. Click Add Integration and then enter your store URL in the box and click Connect to Wix. You'll be brought to your Wix account and prompted to log in if you haven't been logged in already. Once you're logged in, review the permissions and click Add to Site to be brought back to Klaviyo. Review your store URL setting to make sure that you've chosen the correct Wix account to integrate with Klaviyo. This setting, automatically add Klaviyo on-site JavaScript, is checked by default, and that's how you want it. When it's on, you'll be able to use Klaviyo's active on-site tracking and use Klaviyo's sign-up forms. By the way, I have an in-depth tutorial on Klaviyo forms on my channel. Go check it out after this one. It's one of the most popular videos that we've made. Okay, next, check the setting Add Wix email subscribers to a Klaviyo list. When this is on, customers who opt in to email via Wix, such as during checkout or with a Wix footer form, will be automatically added to the Klaviyo list that you select. Select a Klaviyo list from the dropdown, such as your newsletter list, that you wish to add subscribers to. Side note, if you need to create a new list in Klaviyo, navigate to the List and Segments tab under Audience, then click Create List slash Segment, Choose list, name your list, and click Create list. Now click Complete Setup. After a loading screen, you should see a success message reading, your Wix account is now connected to Klaviyo. Yay, great work. You've finished integrating. Now your Wix data will start syncing to Klaviyo. If you ever need to edit your Wix settings, this is what you do. In your Klaviyo account, click on your company name in the bottom left-hand corner, then click Integrations. Select Wix on the list of enabled integrations, and you will be brought to the Integration Settings page where you can make changes. Once you're done making changes, don't forget to click Save Settings. Create automated messaging with Wix. Now the fun stuff. This is why this integration is so cool. You can now build automated flows that communicate directly with your website and automate some of your sales. Great news, Klaviyo already gives you a few pre-built flows for Wix. To access them, go to Flows on the left, then click on either Browse Ideas or Create Flow. Then next to the search bar, click on this drop-down menu and choose Wix. You'll see that you have a choice of a few different cart reminders flows, a thank you flow, win back, and some shipping and post-purchase related flows. Let's quickly check out the abandoned cart reminder. This is the bread and butter for any e-com store. I'm going to click edit on this first email and then edit again. Thanks to this native integration, this part of the email, the most important part that contains the product that the shopper abandoned, should populate automatically. To check, click Preview and Test. Ta-da! Amanda Smith over here abandoned reading glasses, and the email is personalized with that product. You can go through a few of your recent abandoned cart events on the right and see what the email will look like depending on the shopper. By the way, I have a monster in-depth tutorial on creating an abandoned cart flow. It's about to be released, so subscribe to the channel, and if it's already out, we will link it on the screen right now. I filmed it using the Shopify integration, but since Wix has now a native integration with Klaviyo as well, the steps are exactly the same. If you want to build a highly converting flow to recover abandoned carts and grow your sales, I highly recommend that you check out that tutorial. 
Thank you for watching until the end. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our future value-packed videos. Please also say hi in the comments and let me know what tutorial we should create next. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.